So I've been working on a fun tutorial for the YouTube channel and I've run into kind of a quirky display issue with the grid widget, the grid container widget. This is version 3.2.7.0. So I noticed that I had some misalignments. Like if you look at this turtle superhero, it doesn't line up with the sloth and this invertebrate one doesn't line up with the dinosaur looking one. And it gets worse. Like if we go to tablet, you'll see that they're to get especially crazy and at first i thought it had something to do with i set the widths wrong but if you look like if we click on this fish you can see it's set to span six columns and i have the parent grid um, set to be 12. so you can see there's the 12 columns there at the top so my characters are set correctly when i go and check them each this is set to span six and the turtle set to span six but they're not behaving that way there is something funny about this little dotted line plus box for adding more content. It messes with the way the grid looks oftentimes in different ways. And you'll probably run into this. If you do what, what I like to do, if I click on the parent container, the grid itself, I just add a little CSS. So now we can put it in line here. So I'm going to paste it. And what we're saying is, and if you probably saw that here, let's go to tablet just to make it more obvious. I'm going to undo that. You'll see my alignment issues return. Let's go to tablet. It looks crazy, right? On the parent level grid, I paste in my little CSS snippet and it fixes everybody. And you can see that the dotted line down at the bottom, the little add widget thing is gone. I don't care because I know that I can just click plus and add a widget by clicking on it or dragging it in. Not a big deal to me. The best way to do this, in my opinion, is instead of putting it uh, here on this like alt grid container specifically, I would probably put it at more of a global level. So I'd probably come up with a class that's something like hide empty view space. Um, that didn't work. Oh, you know why it didn't work? Because I need to take that class and add it to the layout. So I'd click on that parent level grid. I'd add the CSS class there. So the way this would work then is you'd take the CSS, this CSS here, and put it somewhere more centralized, like in your CSS for Elementor under custom CSS or in your child theme, somewhere more centralized. And then what you can do is keep it off of this. And once I go save that CSS somewhere else, then any grid item that I add this class to will get that behavior. And if I don't, then the dotted line will return. So I, I will put this little snippet in the description. Um, and just so you know, the snippet, it's basically taking the class for that little dotted line widget add box and saying, Hey, make the minimum width zero pixels and set the display to none. It just ensures it goes away. I've noticed that this clears up a lot of issues I have. Maybe Elementor can clean up how that works. Um, but for my purposes, I tend to not even need that because I know I can add widgets another way. So maybe this will help someone else. And then stay tuned because we are going to have a really fun superhero team member bio details pop-up tutorial coming out soon showing how to use the off canvas widget. All right. Thank you.